Uh, let's go to control. Bro, t chat, what is with the team nades on us in the controller here, bro? And just absolutely smokes us in the round five. Holy f We'll watch it. I mean, there's, there's stuff we could have done better in, like, the offenses. But um, we're getting a two-piece nade. That's unlucky. Love your accountability. I mean, we, we all just know that we can't play again. We, play, we can't play like that against FaZe. And that was, like... Or, or, or like another top four team. We just can't play like that. And we, they know that too. Should have been a 3 0. I mean, this, yeah, this, this could have been a 3 0 for sure. The worst is losing a round five defense when you've worked so hard to get the ticks and stuff for to, to get defense. And then you lose a round five defense, especially with the. Teammate, like the teammate goes and come on in, we we don't lose. But I mean, I guess there was there was other stuff that we could have worked on. Did you guys see Ants nade in the bot? What was he trying to do? He was just trying to nade the point. The thing is, we got the kills off the point, so it was just the timing where he threw it and we got the kills that we were kind of close to the point and it, it just blew us up. It was pretty unlucky. Yeah. When are we getting you, Damon, and Big T on DayZ? I've never actually played DayZ, but... I don't know, we'll see. Those two would probably have fun with it. Damon, Damon's been grinding like Rust and that other new game, I think. What about high rise to control? Do you think you need to clean up? Obviously, Team Nate for... It's mostly the offenses, in my opinion. There's a lot of stuff that we're not we're doing on offenses that um, we need to fix. We we talked about this already. I'm not gonna go into it because obviously I don't want to teach or tell people what we need to work on on that. But there's it's stuff on the offenses that we're that we're up. like honestly just in general just making sure that we're trying to like actually get the point or working for the point. If that makes sense. The B point. JP, thoughts on LAT matchup? I think it'll be a good match next weekend. It, it sucks for us, though, because we have one match, and it's the last match of the weekend, Sunday, 5 o'clock. Like, come on, man. Give me some dope. If we're going to have a Sunday, 5 o'clock match, at least give us one on Friday or Saturday. Yeah, defense is pretty good, honestly. It, it's mostly the offenses, in, in my opinion. I mean, there were there was some stuff where we did poorly on that. Uh, what was it? The, the round five defense, and why that's why they won it. But I think if he if we don't get the team nade, then we win it anyways. There's just more stuff on on this off like these offenses that we're just not we're not doing too well. Ideas there, but like the execution isn't clean for the offenses at all. Yeah, I mean, we talk about it, but you got to actually do it in the match. Like here, we get this kill. In my opinion, I think we just double work the point. Like Ant, Ant pops this pinch here, and it's cool. Like he gets this kill, but he's, he just gets straight out. And now we have no on point. Ken was the only guy on point. And, and AG's towards like A side. So we have like, we're not, it doesn't even look like we're working for the B point. You know what I mean? And there's other scenarios like that. But that was like one of the... One of the ones just just happened here that I can point out for you guys. How do give you answer this? But why are hard points for us sloppy right now? There's just there. I mean, there's just ups that we're making. Like that that six star hard point, the P four rotation and the P five rotation both up. Once we were actually broke on into the first P3, we let them break back on in and then lose the rotation to P4. That should never happen. But we t I mean, we've talked about how we wanted to play it. But, yeah, I mean, it was, just wasn't wasn't clean at all. Where I saw it on Python, Ace said, my spreadsheets are good. I just need to make the data easier on the eyes. Um, again, try to make it a database format and, and start learning the code with Python so you can actually use that data in a in a sense like you can't like just because you post the kds on a spreadsheet 
doesn't make it useful to like teams or players or anything. Being able to actually work with the data in a sense and do anything you want on it. Like think about it this way. If you wanted to try and just look at, you know, uh, what's called average kills on Karachi, whatever on Karachi hardpoint, you wouldn't be able to do that from that spreadsheet. But if you were able to make it into a database and then work on it through Python, I would look into the pandas package on Python. Just look at working with uh, data, like or data frame in Python. That's probably your best bet. Do we have an ego problem? No reason why. I mean, I don't know about ego problem, but it's a not a, not even like a discipline problem, but like a focus on what we want to do to win the round. I don't think it's an ego problem, but I think it's a just focus on what we need to do problem. What are we prioritizing? That's the more thing. Because there's, there's times where you can go A and you can chow that way. But there's also times that you shouldn't do it. Thinking way too ahead is a problem, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say thinking ahead or assuming that another teammate is going to do something else so that you can do that. There's there's multiple things that could happen. This too, like, they shouldn't be able to get two takes done A for free, in my opinion. Fundamental problem? Yeah, but the thing is, like, I don't know, they, it doesn't really happen in practice much. It's just, like, actually doing it in the match. Just got add cheese. Um, basically, put it put it into a database format so you can work with it. Because I, I was saying, like, if based on your spreadsheet, just because you have it in a spreadsheet and have the KDs doesn't mean it's going to be useful. Like, if, if you want to say, if you literally want to look up based on your spreadsheet, you know, what's the you know average KD or average kills for this player on Karachi Hardpoint specifically? You can't do that with your spreadsheet. You get you get what I mean? You have to format it in a specific way and then be able to query it or work with it. That's what can be useful. Because just just, as, just because you have KDs on a spreadsheet doesn't mean it's going to be useful to a team or a player or whatever. Being able to like actually summarize the data or or look for something that way. Using, using the pandas package in Python. And actually just looking up like videos of... How to how to work with uh, basically how to work with an Excel sheet in in Python, or how to work with data within Python. Hey, mozzarella potato! Thank you for the gifted uh, sub. Appreciate it. I think all of that will get better as the chem get better. I mean, we have good chem. That's not the problem. Because we don't usually make those mistakes. That's that's the issue. It's got to be tight, like, honestly tighter with, with what we're trying to do. Like, actually actually doing it. Not assuming that other people are going to do that thing that you might need to do. Any top tips on shooting straight other than bots? Uh, the thing I was actually saying the other day, and I kind of, I, I was thinking about it, and I, I honestly think it's a really good tip is to watch or to, to improve your awareness. If you can improve your awareness spawn wise and just in general game sense wise, like whether it's watching vods of, of pro players or seeing what they do like being able to improve your awareness allows you to focus more on your your shot because you most of the time know where they could possibly be so that helps you out because you're not really focused more you're not really focused more on oh they could spawn here uh they're going to be spawning here whatever it's more like i know they're probably going to be coming from this area so i can just focus a little bit more on my shot that's the the one thing i was i was saying the other day which i think it could be actually pretty decent as a tip 
Where can I get CDL data from? Is there an API or something? Uh, maybe Breaking Point. I don't know if they have a open thing for you. Thing is, there's no API publicly for the league. The league doesn't give us any data, so anything I get is from myself. Do you think we would play more? Do you think we would play better if we played our lives more in more situations? I think our reputation is just about challenging. No. There's, I mean, there's situations to do it, situations not to do it. It's just play for the win. Whether that means chow, whether it means play your life, play for the, play for the W. No covert sneakers. As I said, that's a very loud slide from Fred. Tries to pierce in between the seven. Yeah, centering is also big too. Again, similar sort of thing. Defense has been dominant. They're stuck in their spawn as well. LAG has looked clean on defense and Diamond Khan might be spotted up top, but still enough to put on a little bit of pressure. Kenny Ford's the, the league uses breaking point, but breaking point can't give out certain information due to the league. What does that mean? Breaking point can't give out certain information due to the league? What's stopping them from giving out certain information? The league doesn't have... The league can't prevent them from giving out information, no? I mean, they, they could choose themselves not to give out the information, but I don't think there's anything the league can do to not allow them to show things. I, I want to be beneficial to a team, but at the same time, I don't want to copy Breaking Point. Uh, then, then don't do things that Breaking Point are doing. There, you, can, you can think of other things that Breaking Point doesn't do. There's a lot of things Breaking Point doesn't do that you can track if you want. You just got to think of where, where that gap is. Like, what is not being, what's not being studied? What's not being looked at on a public sense? Maybe teams are doing it, but on a public sense, they might not be doing it, you know? Are scrims better than what we've shown in our matches? Uh, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, yeah, very much so. The matches them this weekend did not look like ourselves. That's the, the issue for me. That's what we obviously want to fix. But again, who cares what happens in the scrim if you can't do it in the match? That was that was all of our situation last year. You know what I mean? So even if they're good in the scrim, you, you still have to do it in the match. There's also Fugazi server issue. Yeah, I don't, that's why I don't want to watch the Boston one and, and talk about it too much. That's why I want to watch this one. But this, this, the servers were fine. We just, we just weren't playing well, honestly. Need Brandon to iron more on the flank? Jesus. That's good blast. My boy is Chowan, dude. My guy is Chowan. Just know that chat. Brandon's in a situation, he can shout, bro. Didn't that high, what was it? Uh, the high rise 1v2 versus Snoopy? Bro, he's weak and he still chows. I'm like, this guy's different, dude. This guy's, this guy's absolutely different. Like he's running at him, he has to, he has to, the other guy has to chow him. I'm like, Brandon's weak. I trust him, bro. It's icy. BP is just surface level stats go deeper and you'll easily find some st stuff to track. Yeah, exactly. Did you tell the boys I said to win Major 3? Yeah. There's no other player in the league winning his one like that? Yeah, dude, if I, if I had to take one person in the 1v1 to like... Like, 1v1 for my life, I'm taking Brandon. Dashy leads in 1v2s? Does he really? I'm not surprised, honestly. 
from Optic. I mean, they captured B, got a nice little wipe, and again, instead of stacking, they were playing for the spawners, but the spawners just able... Can't play like this against L.A.T. Can't play like this against any top four or five team, whatever. I agree. We all agree. I don't think anyone was happy with the wins this weekend. Like, no one was celebrating. No one was, no one was like, really happy with it. Because we know. Oh, shit. I bad, chat. Is LAT better than NYSL in your opinion? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if better. It, those are, it's a hard matchup. I think it's a good matchup. I think LAT has made strides for sure. But uh, it would be a good matchup. I would actually like to see that matchup. Will you guys be doing any, something similar to phase before major two where hindsight looks like they threw the high res control to not display any strats? No. No one is doing that. No one is throwing a respawn because they're hiding strats. Chat. No team in the league is ever throwing a respawn because they're hiding strats. I refuse to believe any team's actually doing that. Set maybe phase, dude. Phase is not doing that. No one's no, no one's not showing strats in 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 respawn and losing. If you guys think that, I don't know what you. I don't know what to think, bro. Can you get fined for not playing the objective? Uh, no. I mean, I, fines are not up to me, but shit, maybe we should start fining. <laughs> I don't know. Does every player in the CDL have a ring except rookies? No. Eat anything yet? No, I actually didn't. I'll eat after the stream. Faze <laughs> got crazy shit going on in their camp. Who knows, honestly? I don't think it's a great idea to not rehearse strats in-game. Dude, no one's not doing their strats in the game. In a respawn. Search, sure. Search, search 100%. Teams will hide things. Respawn? I don't know. It's not like a strat you can do. That I, I've, I've, I've talked about this chat. There's no strats in respawn that are just like... You're just now playing so differently. Like, the game is kind of like figured out. It's just if you can do it in the moment. If you're actually doing the, the right things like there's no strats it's not like i'm gonna go this way you're gonna go this way he's gonna go this way i'll spawn next guy go that way like you're not you gotta be adaptable to the situation you're not gonna be in that situation you just can't can't just call a strat and respawn like that What are some things a CEO player can get fined for? Probably a lot of things. Obviously, like cheating, uh, talking negatively about the league or the game or something. I want to see this Nate again. Where does Nate happen? Right there. That's atrocious, man. Whatever. What's up, H Town? Did you play competitive call it caught it all in the past? No, just just like wagers, GBs. I never played like tournaments or anything, or gotten to like super competitive. Did you play Destiny on console back in the day? I played it a little bit, not a lot at all. Very, very little. I remember playing like the f***ing, what was it, the beta. 
gotta be careful. Trigger discipline needs to be on. What made you decide to start coaching? Um, I just got really into the stats analytics part of it. And from there, I just I joined a team to help out with that. And kind of just build my knowledge of the game and started working with players and teams to learn the game deeper. And I don't know, it's just been... It's awesome. Like, I love what I do. Did, I, did you choose Hunter, Warlock, or Titan? Honestly, I don't remember. I think Hunter, but I could be wrong. That was a while ago. How's your day going? We had a great weekend, shaking moments, but pulled it together. Game one was crazy. Uh, we're doing fine. Like, obviously, not the best weekend. Glad we were still able to clutch up in the scenarios, but I don't think they, I think there was a lot of things we needed to fix in those games. You staying in esports in the future? I would hope so. I don't know about always working with a team, like in scrims and doing like coaching slash analyst stuff. 